What's up guys, Isaac here. Today I want to talk about using your mortality as motivation to actually accomplish everything that you want to do, right? But first I'll begin with a story. Now I catch this bus to uni, right? It's very convenient. And on this particular day I was catching the bus back from uni and I was sitting near the bus driver. So I was sitting near the front row where I could see everything. You could see everything that was going on in the front. So I'm usually reading my books on my iPad on this bus, so I was reading. I looked up, then I looked down and kept reading. When I looked up again, there was dust everywhere. There was dust at the front and people were standing up to look. The bus driver stopped and I was wondering what's going on. Apparently there was a head-on-head -head collision. Apparently the truck in front of us hit a car head-on-head. -head. I didn't believe this at first until I actually saw that the truck was flipped and this car was smashed all the way on this side of the road and there was debris everywhere right so I was amazed because this happened within a flash of like three seconds and I didn't really hear any noise this just happened suddenly now the police came down the ambulance came down they blocked off the road and the firefighters came down and they took a look at the smashed car and they put the tarmac or the cover on it so the person was announced like dead instantly on site so as you can imagine everyone in the bus was feeling pretty sad melancholy but to me this was kind of a reminder of something that I always had have at the back of my mind you see I'm always contemplating my mortality I'm always thinking about the day that I will die and what will happen then? How many people are going to come to my funeral? Would I have accomplished the things I wanted to accomplish in life and things of that nature? Now, I don't think of these things because I'm a dark person or a negative person. I think of these things because it keeps me in check. It's, it's the greatest motivator. Coming to terms with your mortality, knowing that one day you are going to die and that there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing money can do about it. Nothing your government can do about it. Nothing anyone can do about it. It's the will of the universe or God or whatever you want to believe in. One day you will die. That's for sure. So it kind of puts you in perspective. It, it keeps things in perspective. It keeps you in check. You don't worry about petty issues anymore. You learn to value the moment every moment that goes past you learn to value the small things in it and live in the moment not worrying about things that happened in the past and not being anxious about the future because you understand how valuable each moment is to you because each moment could be your last now I feel that the average person doesn't contemplate this because we're so far away from death these days People who are dying are set off in hospitals, we're away from war zones, we're away from famine, we're away from things that kind of resemble death. We don't look at it, we are not shown it anymore. So the average person tends to forget about it, they tend to forget about the mortality, they live as if they're immortal. So as a repercussion of this, they waste a lot of their life. They spend a lot of time worrying about bullshit, worrying about petty issues, not thinking larger because to them, it's just a routine. They're going to be doing this for a while. They think they're going to live for the next 20 years, 30 years. Not knowing that that's not guaranteed. It's an erroneous assumption. How do you know for sure that you're going to live for the next 20 years, 30 years? Just because you're 20 doesn't mean that you're too young to die. Just because you're 10 doesn't mean that you're too young to die. Just because everyone else is living into their 80s doesn't mean you're going to live into your 80s. So that's something to keep in mind. So... I always have reminders, whether it be a hourglass wallpaper on my laptop or my phone, or just occasionally thinking about it. I always remind myself, once again, to keep myself in check and to keep myself motivated to accomplish everything that I want to accomplish. Because the last thing you want to do is to be on your deathbed with regrets, without wishing that you did something different, wishing that you didn't waste so much time on petty issues. On bullshit I believe um, a woman actually wrote a book on this and she was a nurse and she collected the five biggest regrets of people and one of them was not being able to do what they wish they had done or 
living life to fit the assumptions of other people living other people's lives is basically the biggest regret not doing what they really want to do so don't be that person use your mortality as your greatest motivation and learn to live in the moment because once you live in the moment you can really appreciate the small subtle things anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed why haven't you subscribed anyway i'm out peace Just do it!